So you might be in a situation where for some reason your iPad is giving you this prompt where it may seem like you have an, you know, virus on your iPad. Now I will definitely tell you if you're getting a prompt that looks anything like this right here, you do not have a virus at all. In fact, this is a very, very common ad that a lot of people end up experiencing. So if you get a virus that looks anything like this, in fact, here's a video I made about my iPhone not too long ago. And this is a very common iPhone virus that also impacts iPads as well. So to rest assured you and to kind of keep you at ease, there you do not have a virus on your iPad. If it looks anything like that, if it looks anything like these prompts right here, you do not have a virus on your iPad. So please keep that in mind. Now, which I would recommend doing is that if you are opening up your web browser and you just keep getting that pop-up, what I would recommend doing for the most part here is by actually going through, swiping out of here and going into your settings application. So go straight into settings and what I would recommend doing is going into your Safari browser right here. And honestly, I would recommend going through and just clearing your website, you know, your history and website data. So that's going to probably clear out a lot of information. So keep that in mind, it's going to clear out passcodes temporarily until you sign back in. It's going to clear your history. If you have anything saved, your bookmarks and everything are still going to be there, but it's going to clear everything in the background. That way, if you did keep getting that prompt, like every time you open up your web browser, it just keeps taking you to a virus page. Just click clear history and website data, and that will probably end up fixing the situation for you. So, and that is the first thing. And the next thing I'd recommend doing on top of that is that if you actually think you do have a virus on your computer me, or on your iPad, meaning that you actually think that there's like some virus infiltrating your software, well, the only way to go and fix it on your iPad is one, if you've jailbreaking your iPhone is to remove those jailbreaks, remove the tweaks, remove any corrupt applications, but also it's to pretty much go through and reset your iPad. So I would recommend backing up everything on your iPad right there, all the information, everything you have, back it all up. And then go ahead and pretty much factory reset your iPad. You can do that by going back into your settings. You want to click on general, which is right up here, scrolling down, transfer reset iPad, back up everything first, and then erase all content and settings. That's the other way to fix it. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, I'll let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.